how you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you get it in? About to get in the fuzzy. What's going on? Um, I wanted to check it with you, let you know, did you see the star, which came on Box 5, which is a Lee Daniels production and stuff, and I put something together just in case you missed it, um, check this out. Okay, Box 5 premiered tonight, um, three stars, and their names are Jude, Ryan, and Brittany, and they were the three that's going to be the stars, the basis to, to the storyline of a Lee Daniels production. Now, these are the three girls that's, um, you know, there's going to be the new thing that's coming up in reference to next year. Now, this is called Star. And it's found to be very interesting. Now, this is the Lee Daniels production and stuff. You know, when did Empire. And also, there's going to be, there was Queen Latif inside it who played the, um, evidently the mother of, or the friend of a mother who got killed and stuff. And it was Benjamin Bratt. Evidently, he had a, some type of thing in reference to that. Now, they ended up, the children ended up in adoption and stuff. I don't know what happened when the mother died and stuff. So they came back and he came back to see her and she found him. She was in the Queen Latifah's in church. She was singing. They saw her and they went up to her and they hugged her. That was like a reunion. Now this is you. She called herself the lead vocalist and stuff. And Brenda's comes down to the group, which they debated. They said, no, you're not the lead. And let me give you an idea of the cast that was there, you know, as far as the thing. Now, Amaya Scott was in Amaya Scott is a transgender woman. But before we get into my, I'm going to let you know some of the people that's in it. There's Miss Lawrence. Jasmine Hernandez was in it. Now, here's the new people to come. Naomi Campbell is to come. Gladys Knight is to come. Tyrese is to come. Corey. Julie. Dondra. Rayvon. Sandy. Ed Lover. Johnston. This is the guy that's doing the music. His name is Byron Michael Cox. He's the music producer. Trina, Demetria, Jacob, Lisa, her husband, even Darren, Lataka, Gocha, Mila, Lisa, Vanessa, Christian Keys, Clifton Powell, Dawn, JD Williams. Keith Robinson, Vina Mills, Angel Love, also Brad James, D'Lo Thompson, Little Zane, Masan, Darius and Frank. And these are the show. Are you going to be watching this? It's coming in January 4th, 2017. Will you be checking out the show? Because I know I will. Now let's talk about the real story. Now, when I heard that Lee Daniel was casting my Scott, which is a transgender woman inside of the series show, I was like, okay, I got to see this. You know, I'm more important. My sister's in the show. So I wanted to find out how they was going to portray her. How was the storyline going to be in stealth? So my, uh, my Scott plays as well receptionist, and her mother is Queen Latifah inside of the show. Now, Queen Latifah reveals on the show to the other girls that Maya was born male. Now, I kind of clinched when I heard that and stuff. You know, it kind of bothered me, but it stayed realistic as far as the storyline because it lets you know of the realistic world we live in and stuff and it lets you didn't, she didn't like to hide it. You know, he just put it out there. So let you see the realism of what we go through and stuff. Now, her and Ms. Lawrence always arguing and stuff inside of the um, salon and stuff. And I thought it was very funny, you know, it was kind of like a caddy type of thing, but it's realistic when it goes on top of the salon. Now, the thing about what Lee Daniels and stuff are using um, her, I was very happy with it because this is the reason why I'm watching the show is because of Maya Scott. The only thing I wish that sometimes that we were all, do we always have to make the transgender person just be a transgender person? Why can't it just be a woman? Just my opinion. I always want to find that out because I never see, you know, um, when it comes out to other characters, when they play roles and stuff. They play a role. So why is it when it comes to a trans woman, she always has to play the role of a trans woman? Why can't she just play a woman? You know, and the same thing when I watch um, females who play roles and stuff, sometimes they want to play the male role, the kids to be. They play the male role, you know. It's, you know, it's very controversial and stuff, but I thought it was very good. And it was, it was also an eye-opener. And I really liked it because 
you know, it showed a different light as far as the transgender people. It'd be much more of, you know, um, a realism type of thing. And I really want to see how this character get played out. You know, I want to watch, you know, what happens to the Mayan doing this whole thing. And, you know, like I said before, I'm watching because of Mayan stuff. And Miss Lawrence is always entertaining and stuff. But I'm really on there for Maya Scott. You know, I love my sisters and I always like to watch what kind of role that they put them in and how they like to portray them as far as their life and living and you know how far detail are they going to get as far as the storyline as far as what we go through and i would like to see how lee daniel really play it out anyway that being said okay you see that like i said before i'm only watching it for amaya scott that's the only reason why i'm watching once i heard that she was being um cast inside of the show i definitely was gonna watch it oh it's crazy now that being said it's Officially late and going to one o'clock in the morning, and I'm supposed to be asleep. Unfortunately, I laid on the bed and I went to sleep by mistake. Um, you already know I suffer from insomnia and stuff, so I kind of lay down on the bed to watch TV and went straight to sleep. Now that being said, um, I have a doctor's appointment in the morning, and oh, they talk about snow, of course, and the doctor's appointment. You know, in, in case, you know, it's like the hormones, you know, because I got the own hormones and everything. So, it's like, you know, to see how the hormones are working on the body. Do, I already did the blood work and stuff. You know, just keep monitoring the, the hormones and stuff and see whether it's working, whether it's not working. Now, my friends, my male counterpart friends tell me they want me off the hormones. A lot of guys do not want me on hormones. They feel as though the hormones are doing something as far as damaging the body, you know. I understand as far as hormones give you cancer and stuff like that and the FDA is having a um, release as far as shots and stuff and it kind of makes me wonder why they haven't released you know as far as the shots are they renewing and proving it or are they doing something to do it so we end up dying I mean it's just crazy it just always makes me question we always second guess everything when it comes to people anyway but anyway the rain said I just want to share it with you as far as star I wanted to share with you. Did, did you watch it? Or are you going to watch it in January? And Amaya Scott, I'm going to tell you that I love it. It was great just because you see this video. I loved it. The Daniels, thank you for casting when our sister said the show. And it's supposed to be allegedly a lot of people, as you saw, that's supposed to be joining the cast and stuff. You know, it's a lot of years. So I got a feeling there's going to be even more people that's cast that I miss. So forgive me if I miss some people, but just a small draft. Anybody really, really sad as much as I love you. And I would thank you for watching. Guess the